recording. Yeah. Okay, good. So um, I think we can start. Uh, so uh, good, uh, good evening, everybody in London and in Europe, and good morning to uh, to Brazil. We are very, very happy to have uh, uh, Marc Potier. Thank you so much, and to be there with us as a, a faithful member of uh, the club and uh, our fantastic ambassador in Brazil. I think in the in the past year we have uh, uh, visited a lot of the country and uh, still uh, will uh, visit and organize a Zoom uh, very, very, uh, very near in the time. Uh, with you, so that's uh, that's uh, fabulous to be able to have a curator living in Brazil, who uh, can tell us of, about all the wonderful projects that are being uh, developed in, uh, in 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 Brazil. Uh, thank you to Sandra and William Ling, uh, to uh, for, and the Ling family that you have uh, uh, created in 1995 in Porto Alegre. Uh, and an art center uh, with a very important program. It opened in 2014, I think, uh, no, the, the program of art center. And you have a very important range of uh, different activities. Uh, the more than a, than a collection, your project is, uh, is also a philosophy. And it's including a very important part of education. Uh, so you're going to tell us about the, the whole history of the project, and uh, and uh, and Mark will uh, you know uh, ask questions and animate and present uh, the, the, the 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 project together with uh, with you. So thank you again, Mark. Thank you. Do, do, do. Do we, do we start with the with the with the little video? This is it. Yes, I think it would be good to start with the little film. Uh, you're on mute, uh, William. Uh, we, you're we, will, yeah. we will share. We will be sharing the the the, 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 the sample of of uh, the cultural center. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. So now, now, now we know where you are because we can yes. recognize the Vikmanis, which yes. is behind, behind yes. you. <laughs> so as Anne Pierre has been saying, uh, I'm very happy to, to introduce today Sandra and William Ling uh, that I had the pleasure to meet and I had the pleasure to, be, uh, to go to Porto Alegre to, to discover their universe on this fantastic institute. Um, I think it's interesting, as uh, Anne-Pierre, you have been saying, uh, it's more than a collection, uh, and we shall see also it's a collection which is extremely thought and um, promoting, uh, promoting uh, what Brazil can have uh, at, at its best. Uh, so we, it's not an international collection, but it's a Brazilian collection, and I think this is what is interesting for the club. 
uh, not to see what we have been seeing in so many other spaces. And also it's um, interesting, and, and uh, William will tell, tell us about it, about the, what Brazil is about. Brazil is made about like so many different families coming from all over the world. And uh, um, this family uh, ch from Chinese origin, um, has has been arriving and want to retribute what she has been receiving from Brazil. And I think the best is like, the, maybe uh, William, you can start with this and to speak a little bit about the history of your family arriving to Brazil and the philosophy that you keep going on uh, to explain. We are mute. You are... Well, uh, Mark uh, and Anne, uh, Thanks for having me. Uh, I wanna give you a brief uh, background of my family. My, my father uh, is from Wenzhou. Uh, my mother is from Shanghai. Uh, they met in Hong Kong when uh, fleeing China in the wake of the communist revolution. And uh, by virtue of fate, uh, my father uh, ended up uh, settling uh, in Porto Alegre, uh, which is the capital of Brazil's southernmost state, state of the Rio Grande do Sul. And uh, he and my mother, my mother uh, stayed in Hong Kong, and he and my mother dated uh, writing letters. Uh, and eventually she boarded a vessel uh, on a two month journey to Brazil to marry him. And this was in 1953. Uh, two years later, uh, another stroke of luck changed their lives uh, when uh, my father was offered to acquire a small oil seed processing factory in the countryside, a small city, a rural city called Santa Rosa. Uh, it's about 500 kilometers northwest from Porto Alegre. Yeah, so they moved to Santa Rosa to start the business of their own and to raise a family. And in the same year, this, this was 1955, uh, my older brother uh, was born. Uh, yeah, so my, my older brother was born, my sister and I also, uh, were born in Santa Rosa. Only the youngest of uh, the four siblings uh, was born in Porto Alegre. And Sandra joined the family when we started dating in 1971, so a long time ago. Uh, and today we became an international family with uh, third generation descendants living in Brazil and the US, uh, my sister and my uh, oldest brother also spent uh, a lot of time in, in Hong Kong. And what, we is also, the, what is the business of your family in Brazil? Yes, and we, we also have uh, uh, an international business. We, we, we are in manufacturing, we produce uh, non-woven fabrics. Uh, non-woven are these uh, material that uh, everybody knows today, right? Uh, <laughs> that's used to produce uh, masks, but uh, mostly uh, we produce uh, covers for diapers. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we, we produce uh, covers for diapers, uh, uh, disposable diapers, and also, uh, and also aluminum cans we are in packaging. And we have uh, uh, manufacturing plants in 14 countries all over the world. And you, what, what, what was the philosophy uh, at the beginning of the creation of the Instituto uh, Ling? Yeah, when, when, uh, when my parents immigrated, uh, uh, they didn't speak the language. Uh, they had no friends, no relatives to rely on here in Brazil. Uh, there was uh, no Chinese community here, uh, and, and they have uh, they had very scarce money and uh, face a completely different uh, culture. So uh, against all odds, they were able to thrive. And when they tell their story, 
they always mention uh, the struggle to adapt, uh, the, the grit and the hard work, but above all, they acknowledge that uh, without wel the welcoming and the support from the local community, uh, they wouldn't be able to succeed. So uh, they, uh, they are eternally grateful uh, for the generosity of the Brazilian people and uh, have expressed uh, endlessly that uh, they wish to reciprocate. Right? Uh, so this willingness to give back uh, led to the, to the creation of the Lindy Institute in, in, uh, in uh, 1995. Uh, both my parents were uh, influenced by the teachings of Confucius. Mm. Uh, and Confucius said that there is one word that uh, may serve as rule of practice for all one's life. And the word, word is reciprocity. And, uh, and learning and education uh, is also a Confucian heritage and a Chinese uh, cultural value. Mm -hmm. right. So uh, this led to the to the founding of the Lean Institutes. And uh, we, we started granting scholarships. Uh, we started granting scholarships uh, to Brazilian students uh, to study at, at top schools in, in the United States, right? Uh, uh, and uh, so, so, so far, we we we've granted more than one thousand scholarships, uh, mostly for uh, postgraduate uh, programs abroad. What you I'm and this was before yeah. the opening, uh, because th this part of what you you are presenting now has been yeah. before the construction of the institute, yes. institute link that we are going yes. to visit with you. Yes, yes. So we started with uh, uh, scholarships for uh, MBAs, uh, for, uh, for uh, lawyers, for uh, public and NGO uh, management, for journalists, and, and so forth. Uh, what you yes. Uh, my Zoom, yeah. And uh, uh, our grants, uh, our scholarships uh, grants are based on both merit and need. And, and the goal is to support uh, young, uh, talented, uh, potential leaders uh, committed to the betterment of uh, the country. And uh, in 2014, we opened the Cultural Center and we also support two major healthcare uh, institutions, uh, the Moinhos Vento Hospital, uh, which is ranked second uh, best in the country, and the Santa Casa, which is the largest philanthropy uh, health complex uh, in our state. Mm -hmm. At the Moinhos Vento uh, Hospital, we sponsor the Cancer Center, which is named after my mother, Lydia Wong Lin. And uh, at the Santa Casa complex, uh, the new uh, Nora Teixeira Hospital, which is under construction, uh, we sponsor the intensive care units of this hospital. So you have been decided to, to build uh, an institute to yeah. put together uh, all this uh, different activities and to speak mm. also about your passion for the arts. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so the idea of the Cultural Center project uh, started uh, in uh, 2005 <laughs> when uh, uh, I stepped down as CEO of my family company. So I found myself uh, with uh, plenty of time and, and energy to pursue other challenges. And I was personally interested in uh, continuous education, uh, basically in history and philosophy. And Sandra also uh, enjoyed the idea of short courses, but wanted to create a space to promote uh, the visual arts, because she, she has been involved uh, with, with uh, art uh, for 
for uh, many years. So we started contemplating uh, the concept of developing a cultural and educational place uh, where the local community could enjoy uh, top-notch uh, activities. And uh, we also wanted to build uh, something that would become a, an architectural icon in the city, a tailor-made uh, building able to host uh, a wide range of uh, cultural expressions from cooking to music, uh, theater, dance, and so forth. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, in the beginning, uh, the cultural center was a brainchild of Sandra and me. Uh, so we developed the project, we bought the land, we selected the architect, and uh, it was only when uh, the, the, uh, the construction began that uh, it draw the attention of my brothers and, and parents. And it became uh, clear to them that uh, uh, it should, uh, that this project should be embraced by the family under the umbrella of the Lean Institute. And speaking about the construction of, uh, here he, he is, yeah. uh, I think this is a very nice history because you have yeah. a son who is yeah. an architect and when he was 21 years old, you said, so you are going to help us to select the architect. So tell right. us the story. So Anthony is our youngest son. At that time, he was finishing uh, architecture school. And uh, we thought it would be a great learning opportunity for him to manage a, a, a project from, from scratch. So his first task was to help us uh, select uh, the firm that would design the building. And we asked him to list his top uh, 10 favorite Brazilian architects uh, mm -hmm. and make uh, appointments uh, to interview them. Uh, Isai Weinfeld, uh, Isai Weinfeld uh, uh, was the one uh, we chose for the task. And uh, could, you please, could you please tell us some, some yes. for our friends who may not know that Isai Weinfeld is a major uh, Brazilian architect uh, to give like some words about, uh, about what he's doing? Yes. Yeah. Well, Isai has been our first choice since the beginning uh, of the uh, selection process uh, for basically two reasons. Uh, uh, his, his portfolio of projects. <laughs> His portfolio of projects is unmatched, uh, in our opinion, by any other uh, Brazilian firm. And we love his style. And uh, uh, we love, no, uh, well, uh, it was, uh, Isai was a, uh, a student and partner of uh, the late uh, Aurelio Flores. Uh, Aurelio Flores uh, was a Mexican architect uh, who came to Brazil, to Sao Paulo in the, in the 60s. And uh, Aurelio, uh, he was a teacher of, of uh, many important uh, architects like uh, Isai, like Mark Hogan. And Aurelio designed our home uh, and we liked the idea of having one of his most talented uh, followers to design uh, the cultural center for us. And, and the second reason is that uh, Isai himself is a very eclectic uh, individual. Uh, he, he, he works, he transitions from uh, movies to furniture and uh, object design to scenography, to, to art. Uh, so uh, we thought he, uh, would be uh, the ideal uh, person uh, to do this project uh, with us because he would be he is capable of uh, uh, of understanding the, the scope of, of of the endeavor right which is is, is a very eclectic uh, scope what you, what you have to know uh, for for members of the club is Isaac Weinfeld is someone who is very uh, uh, 
uh, is, is a tough cookie. And we know some collectors who has been building her, their house with him. And he yeah. said, no, 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 I don't want this sort of furniture. I don't want this sort of art. It's not going to dialogue well with my architecture. So he's very into the art world, but he's a very tough cookie. And to get it was at the same time a, a, a challenge. May, I know that you have some images of, of the works, but maybe yes. uh, let go, uh, because I know that our friends, they want to go to, to, to the art part of the collection. Um, for you, uh, Sandra, it has been the you we are going to speak be better with you a little bit later. Uh, you as an artist, but uh, for you, it was the first time you were doing uh, the landscape uh, uh, part of, uh, of the project. The follow up. <laughs> Watch you have, yes, you have, uh, you have uh, been. Yeah, I, I have some images of the of the building very, very quick to please. show you. Yeah, the, 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 the cultural center is located on a, on a 2,000 square meter corner space uh, in a single uh, family residential area here in, in Porto Alegre. And we took advantage of the natural slope of the land and built three stories being two below the street level. Uh, so, uh, the main entrance is on the street level floor where we have classrooms, we have a, a gift shop, a cafe, an auditorium, and an exhibition hall. Uh, the next floor houses a, a large uh, events room, a kitchen for cooking classes. We are now uh, here in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the cooking area, right? Uh, and uh, uh, we have a storage room and uh, the offices. Watch yes, and, and the second underground floor has a, a parking garage and all the utilities. Uh, it took it took us uh, four years. Yes. It took us four years uh, to get all the permits to to erect the building. It required a lot of uh, earth moving and excavations. Yes. Uh, uh, most of the furniture, furniture uh, uh, most of the furniture was imported from Italy. Uh, I remember that uh, Sandra and, and our sons went to London uh, to, to visit, uh, to visit uh, the, the showrooms of the furniture uh stores right and and and, and chose uh, each of the different pieces of furniture and okay. yeah, this is the lounge uh the auditorium is a auditorium for 90 people equipped with, with a state-of-the-art lightning and sound equipment Okay, this is the, the cooking area. This is uh, where you are. <laughs> yeah, this is where we are now. Five percent, five percent. Yes, five percent. Okay, the meeting rooms, classrooms, classrooms, uh, classrooms for thirty people. Five percent. This is the 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 uh, events room. Uh, it's it's a space that can uh, handle. Uh, 300 people, right? And and you you can you can note the the landscaping, right? Which uh, is Sandra's design, and uh, she can comment on this. This is access to to the second uh, the, to the first uh, underground. What percent? Right. And now comes uh, Sandra's. Uh, Work work. As, <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. As, uh, as you have as, seen in these images, you know the the place of nature is uh, is always present. You see all 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 all, all the green thing, thanks to the to the large windows. And uh, I think it's a nice story because uh, uh, we were th you were thinking about who would be able to do it, and uh, and finally this is somehow who did the, the design of the garden. Tell us. Watch uh, Basavans no, no, in fact, uh, uh, 
Uh, I always like the art and nature, uh, but uh, I, despite my passion, I graduated in economics. But as soon as I got the degree, I started learning art. And I studied here in Porto Alegre and after uh, the 80s, in 1991, 92, I studied art history at Stanford University. So my life was, uh, I started painting in 1990 and I painted for many years, more than 20 years, large pieces. And uh, landscape design was my hobby. But the last years, uh, it changed. I, I continue painting small things and the drawings and writing some poems. I don't consider myself a poet, but I, I like also this. But um, uh, it was a passion since I was a child. I used to do small gardens, planters for me, for my friends. But uh, 17 years ago, I started, uh, we started uh, building our house. And I decided I'm gonna uh, design the garden. And uh, then I study garden uh, uh, styles to decide and create my own. And with the help of uh, an agronomist, uh, I took all the many courses. And then uh, I did uh, my garden. So when I did the Porn Instituto Ling, for me, it's quite doing something for me. I didn't have the idea of a something for uh, the community. And uh, when I planned the, the awesome. started thinking about Instituto Links project, I meant to contrast the, the Isai contemporary which, which straight percent? lines with the delicate species uh, lines, uh, with um, conveying the which idea percent? of uh, natural growth, because I love the uh, English garden. And uh, so I tried to do yeah. something like this. Sometimes they, I trim and then it's not that wild, but I like more wild. And uh, for the lower floor, that's a big room with uh, uh, glass uh, wall. Uh, so I nice. wanted to connect the garden with the interior. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, this is the, the part so on the to, lower side. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you, just to mention on this. Uh, uh, image uh, because you know some of you already have been mm -hmm. seeing some works this is the mm -hmm. design of the famous Hugo Franza yes uh, fam famous uh, Brazilian designer who is yes. reusing uh, branches of uh, trees yeah. which has been he's not cutting trees but he's reusing yes. trees already down very nice very beautiful yes yes no, so when I did the garden and then as I liked the, 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 the project, which uh, made me feel very honored because I, I admire him a lot. Uh, and nowadays I'm working more in, in landscape than in uh, painting. But uh, I think all my landscape design, uh, the aesthetic part uh, is based on my experience with painting. For me, it's quite the same. Uh, I always start uh, the implementation of a uh, garden as if I were before a blank canvas. And uh, that's it. Uh, something uh, I do like if I'm painting something. <laughs> Excellent. So I, I think uh, uh, Laura, uh, who is the cultural program coordinator, wants to tell us some words about the Institute. Uh -huh. and the activities yeah uh, the, just before you go on with that i wanted to know the the space where you organize the exhibitions is the big hall that we saw the the, the 300 uh, the the room that we have two spaces here. yeah okay we have the gallery for a specific three, uh, three artists per year mm -hmm. uh two more uh, uh significant and one more young artist and in the lower room, this big room, we can do performance, but also events and uh, art, courses in art and, and art exhibitions also. Besides, the exhibition was there. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. We, sh we shall see some images of the exhibitions. Mm -hmm. So, Laura. Well, well, hello, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, can you hear me, hear me well? 
Yes. Okay, thank you, Anne. Thank you, Mark, Sandra, and William. Uh, well, first of all, I'm not alone in this. Uh, the cultural program of the institution has a curatorship team uh, specialized in three segments, music, cinema, and performing arts. Uh, we offer international and Brazilian instrumental music concerts. We have uh, jazz and classical music auditions and theater performances. They are selected through an annual uh, public notice that exclusively support local productions. And we have cinema sessions, cinema sessions with uh, sensory um, experiences and also cycles of independent short films. Well, my colleague Mayra Hitte, responsible for the pedagogical project, and I, we select uh, other cultural activities through a direct contact with artists and professionals, such as uh, children's activities, uh, literary meetings, uh, seminars, dance works, workshops, a gastronomy courses on that beautiful kitchen and other activities for general public. For school and university audiences, there is a specialized team that develops an educational program. Uh, it's coordinated by our colleague Camila Salva and offers guided tours of the art collection and temporary art collection and temporary art exhibitions, uh, as well as uh, workshops based on the content of the works on display. And it is uh, also possible to carry out uh, technical visits uh, with focus on the architectural and landscape design of the building. Okay, pode passar. Vai passando. Mark, would you like me to, to tell a bit uh, about the partnerships? Yeah, uh, I, I, I think, you know, br briefly, because, you know, I, I think it would be nice to, to for you, you to explain to us as this building is uh, the opportunity to show part of the collection. You have the exhibitions, but in, in the public spaces, you have part of the collection of the links. Perfect. Well, so as of this year, the cultural center finally expands its operation and we, we will support other local projects from institutions and independent producers with uh, cultural actions in different spaces in the city of uh, Porto Alegre and also outside the state. So we will have uh, the Museums Night, that it's a project that came from Buenos Aires, Argentina, called La Noche de los Museos. It's similar to the Galleries Night uh, that I think most of you already know how uh, it, it's, um, it, it works. Uh, there is the Fundação Iberica Camargo, an, an institution dedicated to the preservation and dissemination of the artwork of Iberica Camargo. Uh, which you, that artists. you can discover on the bottom right of the of the of the slide with a, uh, an architecture by Cesar uh, Vieira, the Portuguese yeah, it's architect. Yeah, Portuguese artist Alvaro Cesar, um, and there is also the 13 RD edition of the Mercosur Biennial with the curation with the curatorship of uh, Marcelo Dantas which uh, Instituto League will finance the entire educational program. Uh, we have the, also the Museu do Amanhã, Museum of Tomorrow in Rio. We seal the partnership to continue an educational project in art and technolo in technology that we started in 2021. And now we're uh, going to work with uh, Museu do Amanhã in 2022 to continue this project. And with MASP, we are organizing a few courses with professors from the MASP Scola. Uh, it's a program of the museum uh, that offers short courses with uh, professors specialized in art and culture. Uh, 
the mass sorry, so sorry to interrupt the mass is the this building that you see on the upper part right with this sort of uh, red frame uh, which is the museum of san paulo one of the main museum of uh, uh, latin america with a huge collection starting you know from the uh, uh, with the, all the all the classical uh, uh, the, the, the classical exhibit uh, art that you can find, it's a sort of mi mini Louvre that we have uh, in in Brazil. Yeah, these movements uh, interest us uh, to strengthen ties with the uh, renowned uh, institutions and join efforts in the promotion and dissemination of Brazilian culture and art. So, so now, now I, maybe you can uh, sh uh, tell us a little bit about uh, how the collection is uh, present into. Perfect. Well, currently we have uh, how we, uh, the institution houses uh, 17 works by contemporary Brazilian artists in its permanent collection belonging to the private collection of William and Sandra Ling. The artists represented in the works are big names of uh, the national art scene, uh, like uh, Cristina Canale, uh, Valmor Correa, uh, we have uh, Dudimaya Rosa, Frida Baranek, Vic Muniz, Nelson Felix, uh, Shirley Pais Leme, Ivan Serpa. Well, and, um, and you can see in the images some of the works that are there. Uh, in addition to the works from the collection, there are also temporary exhibitions which uh, follow the curatorial line of the Ling family's private collection. Uh, the institution has already presented solo exhibitions by artists such as uh, Nelson Felix that we have in the private collection, Karin Lambridge also, Carlos Vergara, Carlos Fajardo, uh, José Patricio, Servo Esmeraldo, Laura Vinci, uh, Valmor Correa, uh, Daniel Senizi, Yoli de Freitas, Nuno Ramos. And uh, now we have a show uh, that uh, from, with, with works of uh, Mauro Fuch. Uh, it's a local artist and very well known in Brazil. And we have those. Uh, those uh, wooden sculptures that you can see uh, in the image. Well, we seek to, to invite contemporary Brazilian artists uh, with a long path in their production and who preferably have uh, participated in some major exhibitions such as the biennials. Uh, the, the institution hosts uh, three temporary exhibitions annually and the artists are invited and the artists, the artists invite their uh, curators. Uh, the, institution, the institution is committed to all the stages of production from training professionals through the production of commissioned works and legitimation of artists and well, ending with the public. Great. So maybe Sandra, could you uh, tell us a little, a little bit about uh, the, the collection? As I've been mentioning, so uh, the focus is to promote uh, artists uh, from Brazil. Of course, uh, it's important for, for you to promote artists from, uh, uh, from Porto Alegre on the, on, uh, on the region. But you have, uh, I remember when we, we spoke, you you, I was telling you, what, what would you dream for the future? And you have been answering to me, uh, my dream would be like to uh, keep going on buying some more works of the artists we have. And for example, when we see now these Tunga uh, images, uh, uh, but actually you are going to tell us, I remember also you told me that uh, you took the decision of uh, the, cre the creation for the inspiration of the Instituto was at a dinner party at the Tate in London for the opening of Mira Chandel. Is it right? Is it right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Many ideas I got there. <laughs> 
So tell us a little, a little bit about you, you know, the artists you have been selecting mm -hmm. and uh, this relationship you have with, with the collection. Yes, we start the collection since uh, we start buying art when we got married 42 years ago. But uh, 17 years ago, when we built the house, we decided to, to buy only Brazilian contemporary artists. We had already Sergio Camargo and Iberê Camargo, modern artists, but we bought before. But we want to have the, this to, when they, in the future, to have a significant uh, uh, collection. So uh, now I said to Mark, I, I'd like to buy more artists, the ones I, I have, to have at least five or four pieces of each artist. To, to have to, this work Which more means, significant. Yes. Yeah, this is uh, uh, Miguel Rio Branco, Manuel Massar, Mira Schendel. Uh, this Mira Schendel, the, the, the mm -hmm. red one in the middle, is uh, the, the cover of one of his book, the books Correct. about her uh, but, uh, in, in Brazil. And that work was in London in, at Tate's uh, exhibi solo exhibition, Mira's exhibition. So we landed. This is Emmanuel Nassar. Uh, Karin Lambert, for example. I want example. to talk about uh, Karin Lambert. Uh, yeah, she, she's, a, she's a local painting. artist. Yes, she's, she's, uh, she's but she now she lives in London. She, her, her, her daughter lives there. So you see, you there. need to organize the studio visit now. Yes. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. I was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, this it's is very interesting that you collect a lot of uh, only Brazilian artists, and do, do you lend a lot of these pieces to other museums everywhere in the world, or? Uh... No, not too much. Not I too much. Just, no, some to São Paulo, and this time to take the modern. Okay. The meters, yes. Yeah. Yeah. More, 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 more. Yeah. Yeah, more, more yeah. Uh, you believe there is still a, a lot of work to do to 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 present and uh, this artist to the to the world. No. The, the, yes, the, I like this idea. Yes. Yes. Mm. This is Vergara on the right side. This Vergara is a, is a is a very famous artist from Rio de Janeiro. He belongs to, let's say, today is 78, no, 80. He, he has been celebrating uh, his birthday recently, he's 80 years old. And he keeps going on to be extremely dynamic with uh, <laughs> uh, many ways of, of working as a painter, as a sculptor. And uh, I think he's one of the great artists we have. So yes, this, 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 this work in particular, uh, I, I bought it because uh, this is a work that he did in the region that I was born, right? In the, in the, Missons. yes, the miss, mission is, is the, it's called the missions uh, mm -hmm. region in Rio Grande do Sul. So he went there and he, he, he basically, he printed the, the, the floor of the, of the ruins, mm -hmm. right? With a canvas. And then he worked on Yes, and he, he worked on, oh. on the, on the, on the, on this printing uh, of nice. the of the floor of the land of the, the walls. and the walls of these ruins uh, in this uh, place, so it has uh, a sentimental meaning to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nelson Felix. Yeah. Yes, Nelson Felix is a, is, is a very good sc sculpture and also sculpture. doing some amazing and, uh, drawing. Yes, I think he's yeah. is... uh, uh, sorry, it's just a comment. Is there a swimming pool in the foundation? No, no, th this is oh, okay. no, that's not a, that was not a swimming pool. This, this, like a oh, I no, see. Okay. I was like, this, wow, no, these are. <laughs> Uh, not, yet, this, uh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> this this is the private collection uh, at, at home. At home. That's yes. why. You, yeah. Oh, I this, see. Some part some part of the collection is at home, and the other part is here at Studio Okay. Lingue. So that's why you saw the yes. mixture. 
Those are the two modern artists we have, Sergio Camargo, Ribere Camargo and Sergio Camargo, both Camargo. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same family? No. no. Oh, okay. So I, I think it was a very nice presentation and it, 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 it gave, you know, a large range of what has been in, invented until today. And uh, maybe if some of the members have some questions. Uh, or maybe Anne-Pierre, do you have some questions? Um, yes, I was, I, I, I was interested by your temporary program of exhibitions and uh, uh, it's the names. I, I have to say that apart from Laura Vinci, I didn't know any other names of the uh, uh, of the artist. So uh, the idea for you is really to uh, is it because you know they are very not well known in Brazil and they are really not so well known uh, in well in Europe, or is it is it something that you want to access your priorities on? Is really discovering artists and supporting them. So oh, they are already famous in Brazil. Oh, I see. And, and whenever uh, you show them, you 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 also acquire pieces of the artists, or not necessarily. No, no not necessarily. Not necessarily. Uh, we want we want to. There are some artists that are already uh, uh, very well known, uh, both uh, uh, internationally and uh, in Brazil but uh, not here in our community. So mm -hmm. this is one, one reason. The, the other is to promote uh, artists uh, that are, are doing very, very good uh, work here, right? And help, help them to get uh, a, a, a broader exposure. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but but yeah, you, know, yeah. you know, and Pierre, uh, maybe uh, this is always very difficult to do this sort of slag shows because it goes too fast. And, yes. uh, and on, I, I sh I, we, we may come back to, to most of them, but you know, um, you have seen Sildo Mereles that you had an exhibition. Of course, but Beatrice Mireles. Beatrice Mireles, of course, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I was thinking of the, of the most, the Nelson Felix and Valmore Corias and uh, Laura Vinci, the, 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 the part on really the, the more contemporary art part. Yeah. Maybe if uh, we, we can see a few images because we've been, uh, if we can go back on the images and uh, I think it's uh, there are very uh, interesting pieces in, uh, uh, in, this, uh, in this part. Uh, no, yes. Nelson Felix is a fantastic yeah. sculpture, super well known in, in Brazil. And for me, I must say it's a mystery because I think, you know, it should be uh, more known abroad. And I think the, for me, it's totally an artist for the Galerie Le Long, uh, for example. Uh -huh. I think he would be absolutely perfect in this gallery. And uh, Laura Vinci also, she's a great artist from Brazil. And, uh, and uh, I think she, she should be uh, promoted more than she is. Yes. So this is Yol, Yol Di Freitas. For example, Yol Di Freitas has been participating to Documenta. Uh, mm -hmm. She's not as known as Sildo Merles, Tunga, Beatrice Miazes, uh, Vic Muniz, but she, she, she is also an international uh, artist. Artist, yeah, okay. And uh, yeah, yes. I see, and um, and and my my oh yeah that's what yeah the Carlos Vergara, uh, Vergara. Mm -hmm. exhi exhibition. So that was um, and the exhibition is for like three months or is it? Uh, 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 yes. Uh, and, uh, and and so yes, and, and whenever the artist comes and wants to uh, like do do something, I mean, is it like a carte blanche and you you say you do whatever you want to do? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Laura, you want to you want mm -hmm. to explain how how the process works, Laura? Uh, well, we invite uh, the artists to get to know the place first, so they come to Porto Alegre and uh, uh, usually they come with their curator already, so both can know the place and, and think about the, the exhibition, and also we 
we commissioned the, the uh, new artworks. So the, the, the artists can think about the new production and, and we show uh, mostly uh, unreleased uh, artworks. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, I was wondering how many visitors do you have, uh, like uh, for the, the the contemporary art uh, section? Do you have uh... Uh, in a month? Yeah, um, yeah. You have a lot of visitors. Yes. Yeah, we have the visitors of the building that comes also to participate in other activities. Mm -hmm. So uh, everyone that comes to to the building. Uh, they are all they are all invited to get to know the the gallery and the the art exhibition that mm -hmm. is there so we have uh, lots of um how can i say uh, spontaneous public uh, visitors so uh, mm -hmm. there, some are uh, the, the, the didn't went to only to visit the the art exhibition they they went to do another thing and they got to, and then got to know the the artwork well the, the exhibition so we'll we have about uh, two thousand visitors per month oh yeah that's, or so yeah, that's not good. during the pandemic <laughs> yeah not that's during quite the important I imagine I imagine um, uh, yes yeah, so. Um, uh, so yeah, well, th thank you so much for. Has anybody have uh, any other questions? I will just make a little um, uh, resume of this amazing uh, foundation uh, that uh, gathers. Like uh, you know, it's a huge building. Uh, I've read like, yeah, there are twenty six assistants, forty concerts, uh, thirty films projected, one thousand classes of. Uh, all the subject law, uh, 392 postgraduate degrees. So, um, so, and you've been collecting collecting since 42 years. Uh, so that's uh, you know that's the result of a, of a huge career of uh, of uh, collecting and being a philanthropy and supporting art and education. And uh, so uh, it's 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 very very impressive. Uh, and uh, we, we we really thank you so much for you know hosting this uh, th this Zoom with us, and uh, hope that you will be able to travel soon to come to London. And and as Mark said, we have to make a huge trip to Brazil, so that's going to be on on our on our list as soon as this gets uh, possible. And uh, and I wanted uh, to uh, thank you also, thank you, uh, uh, you know, uh, Mark for introducing us to this fantastic projects that you know that needs to be also more well known and diffused uh, other than Brazil, which is of course a big country. But uh, yes, and uh, and and we understand that there is a, there is a, a lot to discover more Brazilian artists. And uh, uh, yes, and to promote them. So if we can do something about that, that would be uh, that would be uh, fabulous. So um, and thank you so much, uh, Laura, for for explaining and, and showing your, your your work as a, the director of the institution. Uh, and uh, and also congratulations to your son because it must have been a very very fun project to work on yes. as an architect yes, yes. I, can, I can see that he was in talks and he was doing the presentation so yeah, that must be a family fantastic family experience and yes and projects so uh, congratulations for you um, also about that and, and, and uh, you are you are also you are all welcome to visit yes. uh, us oh, here well. for the I, thank you so much for that yes anytime and thank you, thank you. you. We will, we will. And uh, so have a have a great day, and we will thank have you. a great sure. evening, and uh, and hope to be in touch very soon. Thank you. Thank you very you much. much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.